I want to talk about what I mean by aggregate roll-up monitor. An aggregate roll-up monitor is a collection of several other related monitors. The state can be determined on either a best case or a worst case basis. And this really depends on the nature of the service. The word related here is really important. The monitors have got to be related in some way. Aggregate monitors generally watch similar items such as groups of DNS servers or group of DHCP servers and report back to Operations Manager on the overall health of the service group as a whole. Now, let's take this as an example. Suppose you're using a dependency roll-up monitor to watch eight separate DNS servers. So you've got eight DNS servers lined up in a, in a line. You could create a high-level monitor that undergoes a state change once only five of the DNS servers become unavailable. In this way, you can be alerted on your terms. So you don't have to say when one is down or when all eight are down, but you can say when five are down. Now when you think about how this enrolls up to a higher level item, when you have a group of items being monitored within an aggregate monitor, you've got a couple of different choices for how this state information can be rolled up. The most common type is to use what's called a worst state health policy. In this case, the aggregate monitor matches the state of the child monitor that has the worst health state of the group. So if you're monitoring 150 items with an aggregate monitor and one of those 150 items goes into a failure state, the entire parent monitor is shown as being in a failed state. And that's what you're seeing over on the left-hand side of your page here. One of the child items is red, therefore the aggregate monitor is also red. Or conversely, you've got a best state health monitor. This is the opposite. This is going to tell you what the state of the group is with the best health. So in the case of your eight DNS servers, as long as one is operating, then all of your services can operate theoretically. So as you roll up, you may look at that and say, well, then the aggregate monitor will be green. Next up, we have dependency monitors. And these allow operations manager to view the health of one object and have it affect the health of another object that might be completely unrelated to the object. Now these are similar to aggregate roll-up monitors, but they're a bit more flexible and a bit more granular. Here on this diagram, you can see how this might work. You've got an item at the lower right-hand corner of the screen that's health of one item is affecting the health of another monitored item directly. Now this type of monitor also adheres to the previously discussed best and worst health states that we talked about. But there is some additional flexibility here. You have the capability to define a percentage health policy. So in this case, suppose you've got those five monitored items and a percentage health policy of 60%. This would mean that 60% of the monitored items would need to stay operational before the monitor goes red. In this example, the monitor would stay green even if two of the five items failed. But once that third item failed, the 60% availability threshold would be violated and the monitor would go red. Now, previously I talked about the fact you may have a bank of DNS servers. With an aggregate roll-up monitor, if you have a worst state health policy, once one of those DNS servers bites it, then the entire health of the group is going to go red. With a dependency roll-up monitor, you can say, okay, I've got eight DNS servers. If four of them are still available, Everything's good. In that case, you could use a dependency roll-up monitor to find a 50% threshold and then say once it goes below 50%, then we'll go into a red state. But until that point, the whole the purpose of having multiple DNS servers is to remain operational. So we're not going to get too worried about things if we lose a single or even up to four of our eight DNS servers.